What you are seeing are the charred remains of an 800-year-old cathedral in Notre Dame. On 15th April 2019, a fire broke out in the roof space of Notre Dame. As the flames engulfed Paris's most beloved site, the iconic spire and the wooden roof were destroyed. People gathered around in shock to see the vicious destruction of a centuries-old cathedral. So how did the fire break out, and what are French authorities doing to restore Europe's most important site? Stay with us to the end to find out. If you're new to this channel, we welcome you to Visionary Builds. Here you can find the latest news in architecture from around the world, so hit the subscribe button if you want to watch two videos weekly. Notre Dame is the most visited site in Paris, bypassing even the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre Museum. About 13 million people visit it annually, while the Eiffel Tower garners around 7 million and the Louvre stands at 7.8 million. But if you look at its beautiful Gothic designs, sculptures, and prestigious relics, this fanfare is justifiable. Among the relics, the Notre Dame contains a crown made of thorns believed to be worn by Jesus Christ himself, the true cross in which he was crucified, and a nail from the cross. Notre Dame's famous grand organ is the largest organ in France, consisting of approximately 8,000 pipes and a console with five keyboards and pedals. Over time, the cathedral has gradually been stripped of many decorations and artworks due to constant political turmoil in French history. However, the cathedral still contains several Gothic, Baroque, and 19th century sculptures and 17th and early 18th century altarpieces. The spire is topped by a rooster that symbolizes the French spirit and Christ's resurrection. Inside the rooster, there are fragments of Christ's crown of thorns and remains of Saint Denis and Saint Genevieve infusing the sculpture with religious importance. In 1163, Bishop Maurice de Sully began construction of the cathedral. The cornerstone was laid in the presence of King Louis VII and Pope Alexander III. The cathedral was mostly complete by the mid-1200s. Louis IX deposited the relics related to Jesus Christ, which he had purchased at great expense from the Latin Emperor Baldwin II. The two towers in the facade were added and a flying buttress was added, which was pretty new technique in engineering at the time. The flying buttress supported the roof structure and allowed the walls and windows to be higher. In 1430, Henry VI of England was crowned King of France in Notre Dame when he was only 10. The French Revolution started in 1789. The Notre Dame and the rest of the church's property in France were seized and made public property. During this time, many of the cathedral's treasures were either destroyed or plundered. During the Revolution, Roman Catholicism was removed as the state religion, and the cathedral was rededicated to the Cult of Reason, the first state-sponsored atheistic religion. The 28 statues of biblical kings located at the west facade, mistaken for statues of French kings, were beheaded. With Napoleon's arrival in France in the 1800s, Notre Dame was restored to a Catholic church. Paris's new bishop made changes to the interior ahead of Napoleon's coronation as the French emperor. The building exterior was whitewashed and the interior was decorated in a neoclassical style. However, towards the end of the century, the cathedral fell into a state of disrepair. Being 600 years old, it had endured countless modifications and political turmoil that threatened its status. The Paris officials began to think of its demolition. But that changed when Victor Hugo, a famous French writer who wrote the novel Notre Dame de Paris or The Hunchback of Notre Dame in English. The book became a success and brought attention to the slowly dying cathedral. Written during a time of cultural upheaval, the novel champions historical preservation. Hugo solidified Notre Dame de Paris as a national icon, arguing for the preservation of Gothic architecture as an element of Paris's cultural heritage. Finally, King Louis Philippe ordered that the church be restored. A large team of sculptors, glassmakers, and other craftsmen began working tirelessly to restore Notre Dame's original style. Most prominently, the 13th century spire was replaced by a taller one. In 1991, a decade-long restoration was undertaken to replace the eroding exterior and upgrade the cathedral's pipe organ. Despite the past renovation, there were still signs of deterioration which prompted the national government to propose a new renovation program in the late 2010s. The entire renovation was estimated to cost 100 million euros, which was planned to be raised through funds from the government and private donors. A costly renovation of 6 million euros for the spire began in late 2018. A scaffolding was installed for the purpose and the decorative elements like the copper statues on the roof were removed. On April 2019, at exactly 6.18, a fire started in the attic. 
The smoke detectors immediately picked it up and alerted the cathedral employees. A guard was sent to investigate, but he was mistakenly sent in the wrong location. The guard telephoned his supervisor, who did not immediately answer. About 15 minutes later, the error was discovered, whereupon the guard supervisor told him to go to the correct location. The fire brigade was still not notified. The guard headed for the attic this time, but by the time he had climbed the 300 steps to the attic, the fire was well advanced. The cathedral alarm system wasn't designed to automatically notify the fire brigade. The fire brigade was finally called by 6.15 p.m., by which time the fire had been raging for more than half an hour. The firefighters arrived in less than 10 minutes. Almost 500 fires helped to battle the fire. One firefighter was seriously injured and two police officers were hurt during the blaze. The spire quickly caught fire as it was made of a wooden structure covered in lead sheet. To the horror of many, the fire engulfed the entirety of the spire and the rooster on top of it. At exactly 7.50, the majestic spire collapses, bringing down some 750 tons of stone and lead. Its collapse seriously endangered the stability of the stone arches below, as the charred beams and molten metal fell through the gothic vaults over the church's nave. Those witnessing from outside watched helplessly as a national treasure was being wrecked by the ongoing fire. By this time, the fire had spread to the North Tower, where the eight bells were located. If the bells were to fall, they could damage the tower and other structures below it. Since this was a heritage site, the firefighters had to use low-pressure hoses to not damage the cathedral's interior. By 9.45 p.m., it was announced that the fire was under control. Fortunately, much of the main structure was intact, including the facade, towers, walls, buttresses, and stained glass windows. The great organ, dating back to the 18th century, survived the fire except for a little water damage. The ceiling of the cathedral, consisting of stone vaults, had several holes, but was otherwise intact. For the first time in more than 200 years, the Christmas Mass was not hosted at the cathedral on 25 December 2019, due to the ongoing restoration work after the fire. French President Emmanuel Macron was quick to order a restoration of Notre Dame within five years, an ambitious deadline for a destruction of this scale. The cost of rebuilding Notre Dame was expected to be approximately 700 million euros or 767 million dollars. A total of 340,000 donors from 150 countries raised 846 million euros or 928 million dollars, a sum more than the required amount. An international architectural competition was also announced to redesign the spire on the roof. This hasty step invited criticism from heritage academics and professionals. After much debate in the parliament and online, it was decided to replicate the same old spire. But President Macron wanted to give the building a 21st century touch. He allowed contemporary artists to recreate six of the stained glass windows on the southern side of Notre Dame to mark the 21st century. The copper rooster that sat atop the spire was found among the debris of the building. Its exterior was damaged, but the holy relics inside were found intact. A new golden rooster was built while the previous one was moved to a museum. Before it was lifted, it was blessed by Paris Archbishop Laurent Ulrich in a square behind the monument. The original relics were placed back again in, in addition to a list of 2,000 individuals who took part in the restoration process. During the first phase of the restoration, the focus was on stabilizing the structure, which took two years. The roof of Notre Dame, commonly referred to as La Forêt for its forest-like wooden structure, has also undergone extensive restorations. 1,400 oak trees were used to rebuild the roof. A special team of craftsmen trained in medieval woodworking was deployed to recreate the structural elements. Using customized tools, they spent hours chipping and chiseling wood with their hands. Workers were beginning to disassemble the interior scaffolding from the nave and the choir as the project is on track to reopen to the public on December 8, 2024. Until now, there's no definitive explanation as to how the fire started and no evidence it was done on purpose. Investigations revealed that the fire began accidentally, likely due to an electrical short circuit in the attic of the cathedral, specifically near the spire. As the spire was made of wooden material inside, it quickly caught fire and got destroyed. If you liked today's video, show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. What topic would you like us to discuss next? Share with us in the comments. We are committed to releasing two videos each week, so stay tuned for our next upload.